All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn accessibility by building a quiz, step three. So continuing with the meta elements, a viewport definition tells the browser how to render the page, including one betters visual accessibility on mobile and improves SEO, search engine optimization. All right, so we're gonna add a viewport definition with a content attribute detailing the width and initial scale of the page. Okay, so it's been a while since we've had to do any kind of this. Uh, so we're definitely gonna have to take a trip down memory lane. Uh, let's go over here to curriculum, open this up, and we're gonna come over to the new responsive web design main page, come all the way down here to, not this one, the flex box with the, with the uh, cat pictures. I'm gonna come to this one right here. Come up here and read this. Okay, so we've got meta equals, excuse me, meta, and then the attributes of name equals viewport, content equals width, uh, device width, excuse me, width equals device width, and initial scale equals 1.0. Well, you know what? We're just gonna take this. We're just gonna take this with a little control C action. Come back on over here, and we're just gonna say, you know what? That was, that's enough. That's cool. Uh, let's check it. It's good. Let's submit it. All right. Now we're on to step four and we'll see you next time.